So this is a model simulation of the Earth now. We have about 20 satellites that are dedicated to looking at the Earth every day. One looks at clouds, one looks at the sea surface temperature. OCO looks at carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. All this information comes in. And this is the tool we use to do climate simulation. Here's an example of one thing we can see. This is ocean surface temperature as measured from space. This is the whole world's surface temperature. You can see the poles melting there. Wow. Yeah. This That's is the way amazing. to do it, man. I mean, this is the way to really see what's going on. Here's a Gulf Stream. Look at this. This is the motion of the ocean. This is like a great piece of art. It is, isn't it? Biggest impact would be here. In the Gulf Stream. Yeah. Now this current here, see it? Mm -hmm. The dumping of ice off melting Greenland would stop this conveyor belt. And the, the Gulf Stream would slow down and stopping the transport of heat from here to there. And then Europe would get cold toes because there's a lot of heat transport from the tropics across the North Atlantic that keeps Europe warm. I mean, so you, Europe you, you would get colder? Yeah. Because right? that's the big misconception about climate change is that everything gets warmer. Yeah. And here's the most advanced precipitation satellite in the world. It's very important because we think the biggest impact from climate change is the moving of the precipitation belts from the equator that go further out. So we're already seeing so that causes consistent drought. more drought in places that are already too hot. Yes. And there's a lot of papers written in the State Department elsewhere how that sustained drought has helped fuel the conflict, the Syrian civil war, Darfur, Sudan, all these places that are short of water, short of food. Is this throughout the entire planet, or is it just this particular region right nope. here? No, expected the whole world. We expect bits of India. Expect in the US, Oklahoma, you know, the, the uh, Dust Bowl region. We expect right. that to get much, much drier over the next few decades. Oh, my god. Right. And what about my home state of California here? Uh, not looking great, I'm afraid. Now, our models predicted persistent drought in the Dust Bowl and here for 50 years from now. But we're just seeing the worst drought in 900 years here right now. So it's coming a bit earlier than we thought. We're talking about this happening over a pe period of a few decades. It's just consistent, not great news. No. But a lot of people now are kind of confused about the issue. You know, the facts are crystal clear. The ice is melting. The earth is warming. The sea level is rising. Those are facts rather than feeling, oh my God, it's hopeless, say, okay, this is the problem. Let's be realistic. Let's find a way out of it.